One of your newsletters said that Delta flight attendants, quote, unit costs, end quote, were the lowest in the industry. Can you explain what you meant by this? I'll take that one. Uh, this is an excellent question because a lot of the information that Delta is distributing now likes to imply that the Delta flight attendants are paid better than our colleagues in the industry. And I had the great benefit of being invited to a coalition summit last January uh, where 90,000 flight attendants were represented by AFA, um, and uh, the flight attendants, flight attendants for American Airlines, the flight attendants represented uh, for Continental Airlines, and the flight attendants at Southwest Airlines. And uh, this coalition invited a transportation economist by the name of Dan Akins to give a presentation about uh, the economic factors influencing the airline industry. And one of the most important and significant presentations, in my opinion, was talking about flight attendant unit costs based on available seat miles. And those are terms that our airline executives like to use to be able to gauge their metrics for determining, you know, how much their costs are, you know, divided into different areas of the business. The Department of Transportation collects forms and schedules submitted by the different airlines, and these schedules and forms were synthesized by uh, Dan Akins to create these unit costs, and Delta's costs were the lowest at the end of 2007. So, undisputably, um, it, it, we were able to see that the Delta flight attendants are indeed paid the lowest amount when you add in our wages, our benefits, our retirement, all of the costs associated. And I think that's really what we have to be able to gauge that decision that we all have to make in determining whether or not we are the highest paid, as Delta likes to imply. Let me, Vita, if I could just add uh, another way to look at that data uh, as, as it was just described. It's the total flight attendant costs, everything that Delta has to pay uh, in order to run the flight attendant operations from your salaries and benefits on up. Uh, another way to look at the comparison, though, is, is the, it's a, a measure of productivity because you're taking those costs and you're saying uh, how much does it cost to produce uh, uh, one seat mile, one fly one aircraft seat one mile. Um, on that scale, your productivity is higher than all of the other major airlines as well. So the, it's, it's kind of a combination of the, of the amount of uh, money they're spending on flight attendants and the productivity. In, in, uh, Obviously, as a negotiator, this, this tells you, well, you know, there's some room to negotiate here because the other airlines are paying more for flight attendants to do the same amount of work.